And my favorite place, freshwater aquarium, volcano theme. Let's check this out. These are actually really cool. These little feisty guys, a little stress. Boom. Maybe eight or ten. So many options, guys. Oh, my Ohana, it is your boy back with another aquatic adventure. Now, if you're new to the channel, we talk about everything in the aquarium hobby. And I don't know if you guys guessed it or not, but I am in Citrus Heights, California, and my favorite place, Aquarium and Reptile Depot. So one of the main reasons why I'm here is because I am super obsessed with my volcano aquarium at home. I know I've showed it to you guys on the last couple of videos. If you guys haven't seen the volcano aquarium, I'll leave a card up above. Click that card, it shows how I build this underwater volcano in a 75 gallon aquarium. Hey, you guys might find some inspiration um, and you guys might even try it yourself. It came out so good. Now I'm so obsessed with this aquarium that I wanna get some more quote unquote red fish because that's kind of like the theme for lava, volcano. So we're here to check out some more red fish that we can put in that aquarium, all right? Let's go. All right, so as you can see, Aquarium and Reptile Depot have a ton of freshwater aquariums, but this one immediately caught my eye. Look it, they have blood parrot cichlids. I've never, I'm gonna be honest with you, been a fan of the blood parrot cichlid. Um, I don't know, I mean, it is red. It does kind of match the volcano theme. I can get maybe one or two of them. I don't know, what do you think? This is definitely on the list though. I'm gonna put this on the list as a maybe. And I wanna look around to see if we see any more red fish. Ooh, this is a bit of a thought. I mean, it's not like a totally red, red fish, but they do have fire mouth cichlids right here. Fire mouth cichlids. You can see the bottom of their mouth has a little bit of a red tint to it. You see it? So these are actually really cool, and I've always wanted to own fire mouths. Ooh, this would be an interesting cichlid. I think that would be awesome in that aquarium. Yeah, maybe we'll get some fire mouths. They have them here in this aquarium. Fire mouth cichlids. This is definitely on the list. All right, so if you guys are wondering what I have in that aquarium right now, I have Turkana jewel cichlids, which is a beautiful red cichlid from Africa, and then I also have balloon red jewel cichlids, which are really cool. They're like little mini stubby uh, red cichlids. Super beautiful, but I do see something over here. Let's check this okay, out. Okay, we can go with maybe a couple red severums. Yeah, these are super red severums, which will get super red too right now. They're still juvenile, so they're really young, um, but they do have that little red tint to them, you can see. And I do have one in my six foot aquarium. Maybe I can transfer that one over and get another one. Okay, we'll put this on the list for uh, some red type style fish. Ooh, check these out. Talk about the balloon red jewel cichlids. They have an aquarium full of them. They just must have got a shipment in recently because I actually bought the last three the last time I was here. But you can see these little feisty guys. They're so pretty though. Look how pretty they are. Balloon red jewel cichlids. Check this out. And they also have the standard red jewel cichlids. I mean, the color isn't quite there. They may be a little stressed, but they do have them. Yeah, these are the OG red jewel cichlids. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I didn't realize I was gonna have this many options for red fish. There's still some more. Check these All out. All right, my Ohana, so check this out. How about we go with the red lobster? Let's get some deep. There's a red lobster nearby. My treat. This would be so interesting. It can maybe hide inside the volcano. Look at that one right there, it looks super cool, right? What do you think, guys? Should we get a red lobster for the volcano aquarium? This is definitely an option I didn't even think of. I just walked by this aquarium and boom, there you go. Red lobsters, huh? What do you think? I'll be at the red lobster in case you change your mind, shooter. Oh, wait a minute, okay, how about we get some fire barbs? I wonder if fire barbs would be okay. Like maybe we get like, eight of them in a big school, and they might be able to survive with the cichlids that are in there because it's a big school, maybe eight or 10 of them. But that would be really cool though, right? Fire barbs? I mean, it fits the whole theme of the volcano. Volcano, you know, lava, fire. Huh. All right, if I don't do the lobster, maybe we do some red mini crabs. Look at these, huh? Do we do a lobster or do we do the crabs? Huh, I don't want to offend anybody, okay? But 
this is another option. I think the crabs are cool to defend themselves, but not only that though, they'll help clean the aquarium too by picking up all the scraps at the bottom like this guy's doing. See that guy? He's just sitting there picking away and with the substrate and everything inside the aquarium, I think uh, a couple of these would be really cool. Look it. They will also probably make a little home for themselves inside the volcano itself. So, ah, we do have some options. I might have to ask the expertise of Jason here at Aquarium or Reptile Depot. What should I do? Lobsters or crab? What do you guys prefer, Ohana? Leave it down in the comments. Do we go lobster or do we go crab? Oh, hold up. Wait a minute. They have red terrors. These are true red terrors now now obviously they're not red because they are juvenile but when they get older let me show you a picture of a red terror what it looks like so pretty right look at that huh so i'm thinking maybe this this could be an option for me i mean come on if, if this thing would focus <laughs> but yeah a red terror all right so now that we have some options um and i have some time to think about what i want to get for the volcano aquarium I want to show you guys something that's pretty cool that happened here at Aquarium and Reptile Depot. Check it Look out. Look at this. My boys made the news. They were voted right there. Best Pet Store 2023. They were in the newspaper, the Sacramento Bee. They had a full-fledged article on them. Look at Sacramento's favorites. See, I'm telling you guys, there's a reason why I come here. So big shout out to the entire team here at Aquarium and Reptile Depot. Jason, Jeff, the entire crew, so proud of you guys. It's kind of nice to see my babies are all grown up. Cause you're grown up and you're grown up and you're grown up. All right, so I want to take a quick break on my decision making and I'm going to flip this camera on. I want to show you guys something that's in this aquarium. OMGZ, they have a humu humu nuku nuku wapua, the Hawaii state fish right there. Say that three times really fast. Humu humu nuku nuku apua. He's just hanging out here in the corner. That's so cool, they have him. Look at, there he is. Now, if you guys wanna see me swimming with these guys in the wild in Hawaii, I'll leave a card up above on the right-hand corner. Go check out when I swim with these guys in the wild. It was amazing to see these guys. All right, so I have some uh, decisions to make. Do we go with the red severums? Do we go with the red terrors? Do we go with the red jewel cichlids, the OGs? Um, there's so many options. Do we do the red lobster? Do we do red crabs? Um, I didn't think the theme of red was going to be so dominant here at the fish store until you actually come here and you look. Or do we do those fire barbs? Yeah, so many options, guys. You guys are going to have to stay tuned, right? So we're going to teleport back home. But before we do, if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, hit that subscribe button. Next to that subscribe button is a little bell. Click that bell, turn it on. It's a notification bell, okay? It's just gonna notify you when I upload a new video. And the best part about it is it's absolutely free. I'll see you guys back over at home. YouTube teleportation in three, two, one. Woo, just like that, we are back home in Tiki Lounge, my fish room. Behind me is the volcano scape. You can see all the bags floating. We have a bunch of goodies for that aquarium. I can't wait to show you guys. Uh, but we got to acclimate them. I'm going to treat them with Minfin for an hour after that. So I'm going to pick up the camera. It's going to be a little bit over an hour, but for you guys, it's only going to be about, I don't know, five seconds. So when I pick up the camera again, we shall see what we picked up. See you in a bit. All right, my Ohana look at the aquarium now. It is full of red life. Now let's get into it. Right off the bat, I got eight fire barbs. I had to get those fire barbs. Look how active they are. They're super fast. And you know, I think they're gonna be okay in this aquarium because barbs are kind of a semi-aggressive uh, fish and they're so fast and quick that they're Takana jewel cichlids right here. Uh, they can't even keep up with these guys. You know, I've seen the bigger one chase them around um, and can't even touch them. So I think this was a really good move. Eight of them, they school up together. You can see them, how active they are swimming around. That bright fire red just kind of goes with the whole theme of the volcano. Um, you can see right here, my balloon, right there. Balloon red jewel cichlids. And then right here, we picked up that red terror. I had to get a red terror. I've had one a long, long time ago. I had an order online, but it was so cool that the boys over at Aquarium and Reptile Depot have red terrors. Now, like I said, um, that fish doesn't look very pretty right now. It is a juvenile, but let me show you a picture of what a male and a female 
red Terra looks like. Yeah, right there, you're probably going, I need to get one of those too. Well, they have them over at Aquarium and Reptile Depot, the red Terra. So we got a red Terra. And then right here is a red jewel cichlid. This is just the standard. It's not the balloon red jewel cichlid. It's just the red jewel cichlid. So we got two of those. Uh, I'm trying to find out where the other one is. Oh, here you go. Red jewel cichlid and balloon red jewel cichlid. So we got the standard and we have a or two regular jewel cichlids, which are really cool. Those are going to color up really nice. Like, like I said, um, they're probably a little stressed, but it's been probably about three hours um, since I picked up the camera. So you can see the colors are coming in a little bit more, but you can just see how active uh, these fire barbs are. So awesome. So um, also we got red lobster. I had to pick up this bad boy um, and I'm so glad he's out. Oh, there he goes. No, don't go. Anyways, we had to throw in the red lobster. I figured he'd come in here and uh, hide in the rocks or in the volcano. Kind of was the plan, but he's going to be a nice little addition to this aquarium. He can actually, you know, pick up little particles that float down to the bottom and uh, he'll keep the bottom of the aquarium really clean. Look at, we have a red lobster. I've never kept the red lobster, by the way, just so you guys know. Um, it is a fresh water, okay, just so you know. Now, as you can see, Mr. Lobster crawled into his home, which is the volcano. I think he's like the god. Yeah, we're going to call him like the god of the aquarium just because he has the volcano to himself. Although fish do swim in and out of the volcano. Uh, sometimes you can see the silhouette right in there, but that fire that's burning, the lava, the explosion. I told you I'm so obsessed with this aquarium. Look at it, it's just, I don't know. I'm thinking about putting some more plants, maybe a plant here, artificial plant, maybe another plant over here. Um, but uh, yeah, this is what the Volcano Aquarium is looking like right now. Super active, this is what I wanted. I wanted a little bit more action in here, you know? But not only that though, everybody is red, keeping that whole lava theme going. Now, let me go ahead and uh, turn off the red and blue light and you guys can see what it looks like with a full spectrum light on. See, a little bit different, right? <laughs> but it still looks cool. Look how red the fish are. Like I said, the fire barbs, look at them. Pretty cool, right? And just the way they move, they flash like that. Makes it look like fire. There's our red terror. Oh, look at Mr. Balloon, just came right out of the volcano. Hey, where's Mr. Lobster at? We want to know where Mr. Lobster's at. He's probably inside there hanging out. But Turkana Jewel Cichlid, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then in the back there in the corner, we have our red Jewel Cichlids hanging out right under the heater. <laughs> Look at these guys. Maybe they, they might be building a nest. Who knows? They might be a male and a female back there. But you can see them down in the corner there. The red Jewel Cichlid, balloon Jewel Cichlids. Mm-hmm. You can see them back there. But ah, I'm so, so pleased with this aquarium. Don't tell my other aquariums, all right? But I've uh, got to say, this has uh, got to be uh, my favorite aquarium. <laughs> there it is, my Ohana. We got the red jewel cichlids. We got the red terror. We have the fire barbs. And we got the lobster. Big shout out to the boys over at Aquarium and Reptile Depot. Go check out their online store. They're online. Links in the bio, okay? Go check them out. Thank you, my Ohana. Enjoy your Sunday and stay safe. I'll see you guys on the next video. Much love and aloha.